What up, everybody? Brick Beast here, coming at you with another review. This is on the First Order Snow Speeder, 444 pieces. Let's dive into the features. So, first off, um, I just want to say, you might not recognize this vehicle. That's because um, it was supposed to be in the Force Awakens. Like, you probably knew that from the name because it's the First Order. Um, but there was a deleted scene where Ray and Finn... Uh, stole one of these vehicles when they were on um, Star Killer, and they were being chased. And there's a big chase between them and another one of these vehicles, which was manned by the figures that you'll see later, the First Order Snow Troopers. Um, they just cut that scene. Um, you can see it in the background uh, in the actual movie. Uh, but anyways, let's get into the features. So first off, I have it on an angle here. So when I put it down, I lower you down here. You can see that from a side profile, uh, it's pretty, the dimensions are kind of odd, because it's got this really high slope, and then it like curves off uh, to vertical at the end here, and then from the top it's all flat, then all of a sudden goes down, and then goes up again. Um, it's actually pretty cool. Uh, um, how they got those angles uh, with with just Lego parts. Um, so let's get into the features. I just want to get this feature out of the way. The engine pods they use the six stud shooters. I'm not actually gonna fire those off because I don't want to have a mess all over my studio. Um, there's also on the top the main cannon which can actually be brought up. That has a regular just one stud shooter on the top, and I'll fire that one off. I'm okay with that because it's not gonna make a big mess. So that just fires off. You, I'm pretty sure you heard it there. Um, and then on the other engine pod, uh, they just integrated in the six stud shooters. Um, but focusing on the engine pods, there are, with the old Rebellion uh, snow speeders, there are air brakes. So these you can just manually open up, and those are the air brakes there. Um, now looking at it from the side, you can see there's lots of small stickers in this set. You can see one here, one here, another one up here, um, even one at the back here. Um, I don't, those are just, I guess, representing greebling. They could have just used, like, studs and just tiles just to represent greebling. But, you know, I'm not, most people aren't a fan of the, um, stickers. I don't mind them. Um, I'm pretty good at putting them on straight. Um, I know some people have trouble with it. Uh, so there's just the other side. Uh, you can see from the top here, they got some nice angles in there. Uh, you see they use just hinged pieces to get this angle that goes all the way around. So there's that. Now I'll move on. Looking at it from the side here, I'll just give you a better look. Um, there's a large intake on the front using some uh, black grill pieces. Oh, blurry camera. Uh, so yeah, there we go. It's cleared up there. They use some grills on the front to represent an intake. Then you've got the main, um, I guess it's a sniper, um, just this huge sniper rifle on the top that's mounted. Um, you can move that around at angles, you can bring it up, you kind of kind of bring it down, just kind of angle it a little bit there. Um, they use white on it, I'm not sure if, that, if it's actually supposed to have white on it, uh, but they did that just to make some color contrast. and. On the top here, there are these. There's these three crates which you can take off. It's just one of these um, pre-made uh, molded crates with a two by two um, with the one stud in the middle or jumpers. Uh, you just get three of those. They come with extra ammo in it. I don't have the ammo and the ammo in there now. So there's that from the front. Let's move on. Here we're gonna focus on the back. Um, the back's actually really, really detailed. There's just the backs of the engines, and you can see it kind of underneath there. Um, but there's just there's uh, more grills on the back. Um, I don't know offhand what it looks like from the back, so I can't really compare it um, to what it actually looks like. From I don't think like they put enough detail here that I think um, that's all that's on the back of the actual vehicle. And you can also see here the back of the seats. Uh, which I'll show you now. So this is kind of the, uh, uh, I guess, open cockpit section. Um, it's kind of like a skiff, if you ask me. So the, the 
control stations at the back uh, for the control steering it and then there's kind of just this deck part on the front so I'll go ahead um, and put some figures in there now uh, using my magic of course and there's a uh, the captain sitting there uh, just controlling the vehicle and now I'll put in one of the troopers using my magic of course all right, there's a regular uh, snow trooper sitting there mounting the uh, cannon. So you see there, it's actually it's pretty big, actually. Um, I didn't expect it to be this big. I thought it was. I really did think it was just like a skiff. But then when I saw it compared to two minifigures, this thing's pretty pretty chunky. Um, you get the walls of it, I guess, if you will, they're two studs wide, wide technically um, because of the plates building on the sides so it is two studs wide which um, really surprised me kind of you can kind of see on the backs of the seats there at the control part uh, they use grills as well so I guess um, for detail on this vehicle Lego just really wanted to use grills <laughs> now I'll show you the bottom here um, the bottom of it is very open you know it's, the underside is really not uh, that pretty but you can see here they use these clear wheels that they've been using for a lot of Star Wars ships as uh, well wheels you know you can kind of see the front ones a little bit there but you can it's it rolls really nicely but you just gotta watch out because it is because the front wheels are so uh, squished together that it is kind of tippy um, but even if you do tip it, it's just going to um, sit on the uh, on the engine pods. Um, so it doesn't really fall over anything unless you push it forward more. Uh, so yeah, there's just another side view. And there's just another look at the deck there. You can see um, where the two, uh, uh, where, where the pilot and the, I guess, co-pilot can sit there on the seats. And you can see how much deck space you have there. And when you take the crates out, there's actually a lot of room in case you, I guess if you get another one of these, or if you get the micro fighter of this, you can uh, put even more troopers up here. Lastly, I just want to point out that there are two um, smaller um, kind of phaser cannons there on the side, just short barrel. Uh, I guess that's maybe if the gunner is down, the pilot can just control those from the pilot seat. Um, I think there's I think there's two. Uh, anyways, they're just used with black lightsaber hills. That's all for the review. Let's get on to the minifigures. The first figure we've got here is the snow speeder. Um, what is I think he's a captain. Um, well, it's a uh, snow trooper uh, captain or officer. I think it's officer uh, based on the pauldron color. Um, anyways. For his weapon, he's got a small blaster uh, in black with a white lightsaber hilt. Um, the same color of hilt they used for Jack 14's lightsaber. Um, anyways, uh, I'm not sure how much these figures go for, but I'm thinking in a long time, they'll probably be worth quite a bit because he only came out in one set and he's got two different uh, type of cloth. Uh, wardrobe kind of for the pauldron that the orange thing on his shoulder in case you don't know what a pauldron is and then the waist cape uh, for uh, the windbreaker for the wind era for the snow and you can see it's got nice printing there it shows some um, pouches uh, through the legs and onto the torso and he's got some armor for keeping the cold out and just like the uh, flame uh, the flame trooper he, his visor is just a little slit, um, just so, you know, to keep the wind out of, out of their eyes. And then around the back, he's, he's got kind of a, kind of a, uh, some sloping around the back of the helmet. You know, kind of goes down, protecting the neck uh, from the cold. There's just some black striping. And there you can see is the, I guess that's a back, uh, I don't know what the proper name is for that. I just call it a backpack um, survival kit, some might say. So that's all for him. Let's get on to the last figure. Lastly, here we have the regular snow trooper. 
Now, this is actually a really cool figure as well. It's pretty much the same trooper as the officer, or, um, yeah, just officer, except he doesn't have the pauldron. So, same thing. Um, he's just got a regular black blaster. Um, other than that, it's all the same. And he's got his um, angry clone face, as well as the officer. Um, and you actually get two of these guys in the set. Uh, there's the waist cape as well. So there's that. Um, now, could, if you know, please put a comment down below what the two little circle parts are on the bottom. I never really found out what those were um, on all of the trooper helmets. Are those just... Um, I always thought they were like... Uh, just kind of like a gas mask for filtering smoke and stuff but if you look on the newer stormtroopers um, the, uh, the filters are on the side kind of the mouth area anyways just leave a comment down below if you know um, let's move right on so that's all for the review if you enjoyed make sure to like comment and subscribe so and that's all hope you enjoyed this brick beast review